So the first step here, we're going to express both equations in the same form. And as you can see, we've got x plus y is equal to our constant. So it's already done for us. So step one, we're done. Now we have to eliminate one of our two variables by multiplying each equation by a constant in order to get the same coefficient or the opposite coefficient for one of our two or for one of our or for our chosen variable. So what we're going to do here is multiply both sides of the first equation by 3 and both sides of the second equation by 2 because we're going to eliminate y. And so what this is going to look like is 3 times 5x plus 2y is equal to, if we multiply the left side by 3, we have to multiply the right side by 3. And for the second equation, we're going to multiply the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. Now, take a second and I'll explain why we're multiplying by 3. Because 3 times 2 is 6 and for the y, so 3 times 2y is 6y, and 2 times 3y is 6y, so that we're going to end up with the same coefficient on our y term, on our y variable. Now the other thing you could have done was multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 5, because we could have, when we do this, 2 times 5x is 10x, and 5 times 2x is 10x as well. So we could have multiplied the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 5. But we're going to use the other way where we multiplied the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. So now 3 times 5x plus 2y then is equal to 15x plus 6y is equal to 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. Next we have to do the same thing for our other equation. So we're multiplying the second equation by 2. So 2 times 2x plus 2 times 3y. Well, 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 3y is 6y is equal to 2 times 10, which is 20. So now we've multiplied both equations by um, a constant and we've multiplied them by two different constants you don't have to multiply them by the same constant but you have to multiply the left side and right side of the same equation by the same constant so we have to multiply both sides by 3 we have to multiply both sides here by 2 when we do that we have 6y and 6y and so what we've done is we've converted our linear system into a new form here and now we have identical coefficients on our y term, so we can now use that in order to solve. So we are going to now add or subtract to solve for our unknown, and then solve for our unknown. So since we have the same y coefficient, we're going to subtract. So we have positive 6 and positive 6, so we're going to, when we have the same coefficient, we subtract, and we end up with, then with 15x minus 4x is uh, plus 6y minus 6y is equal to 9 minus 20. Well, 15x minus 4x is 11x. 6y minus 6y is 0. 9 minus 20 is negative 11. We simplify. 11x is equal to negative 11. We divide both sides by negative 11. And we get x is equal to negative 1. So now what we've done is we've found what x is. x is equal to negative 1. We now have to sub in to one of our original equations and for x equals negative 1 and determine what y is. And so we're going to pick the first equation. So 2x plus, sorry, 5x plus 2y is equal to 3. And we're going to sub in for x equals negative 1. So this is 5 times negative 1 plus 2y is equal to 3. Well, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And we're going to have to add 5 to both sides in order to isolate the y term. And we get then 2y is equal to 8. And we're going to divide both sides now by 2. And we get y equals 4. So now we've done our fourth step. And our solution then is here 
x equals negative 1 and y equals 4, or as an ordered pair, in the xy form, it, our ordered pair is negative 1, 4, which means that the intersection point for our linear system is going to be negative 4, I'm uh, sorry, negative 1, 4. So example 6. Sam's cell phone plan costs $25 per month and an additional $0.07 cents per minute. Citrus pays $15 per month and $0.12 cents per minute. What I'd like you to do now is determine the linear system that could be used in order to find out what their monthly bills would be, uh, when their monthly bills would be the same. So the amount of uh, phone time that they would use in order to have the same uh, bill. So we're going to let M represent the number of minutes used and let C represent the cost of the cell phone plan. So what I'd like you to do now is write an equation for Sam's plan and an equation for Sidra's plan and then you can use elimination in order to solve for our unknown.